There are 8 million stories in New York City, a city that exudes basketball. The story today, though, the two surviving teams who today will be hooping for high stakes. Man, hold up, America. It's for a million dollars. Let's get it. And bragging rights. Let's bring it home. Million dollar weekend. Cash me out. A million dollars. We're playing for a million dollars. Let's get it. You want to go home? A million dollars? Doing it for my family. I need that check. Let's get it. Playing for a milli. Let's get it. When to go home. Can't lose this one. It's time to have fun. Tune in. Sometimes, folks, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. We welcome you to the basketball tournament presented by Jack Link's Jerky. This is the $1 million winner-take-all championship game from Rose Hill Gym on the campus of Fordham University. Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Jones, courtside, along with Brand Priscilla. Jeff Goodman joins us in just a bit. Well, friends, several weeks ago, the organizers, the general managers of these 97 respective teams got over 100 votes to become eligible. And since then, we've whittled it down to just two today. How do you characterize playing one game, 36 minutes for $1 million? Well, I know this. The lie of the weekend is we're playing for bragging rights and pride. <laughs> That's not true. They're playing for big cash. Both of these teams have earned their way here. I love the way they play. They're unselfish, high level of guys, some who played in the NBA, some who are still making great careers overseas. Hey, Team 23 yesterday, the West Regional Champ, getting through to the final today. They've got a backcourt quasar that is really great to watch. Yeah, uh, Devon White, you gotta love the guy. Devon White, this is a kid that played his college basketball at Cal Northridge right now he's starring in Spain at a very high level and he has been a high level player in the basketball tournament outstanding shooter also terrific playmaker as well I think this guy Augustine Okasun who finished his career playing for Roly Massimino at NAIA Northwood in Florida he's been a revelation big and strong but a good feel for the game and a load inside Hey, one of the great stories of the tournament so far, Overseas Elite, a team that prior to the first game in Atlanta several weeks ago almost didn't have enough players to get through that first game. Who do we watch out for them today, Fran? Well, I love this team because they have a lot of different guys that can hurt, help you, but how about DJ Kennedy, who starred right here in New York City for St. John's, had a little bit of a cup of coffee career with the Cleveland Cavaliers, but I love the way he's played. He does a little bit of everything, and then Eric McCollum, this guy led the world in scoring last year, averaging almost 40 points a game in the Chinese Basketball Association. Had 82 in one game. And you can tell by watching him, he knows how to put the ball in the basket. All right, let's go to the PA announcer for the starting lineups. And now for the starting lineups. For Team 23. A 6'8", small forward from the University of Texas, San Antonio. Welcome to the court, number two, Travis Gavinon. He's a 6'10", center from Bradley University, number six, Zach Andrews. A 6'1", point guard from Cal State Northridge, number 11, David White. A 6'7 small forward from Oral Roberts University, Larry Owens. And rounding out the starting five, a 6'8 power forward from South Dakota State, number 24, Dwight Patterson. And now for Overseas Elite. He's a 6'2 point guard from Goshen College. Number three, Eric McCollum. A 6'3 guard from University of Texas. Number nine, Mike Cavongo. 
6'10 center from Wayne State University, number 10, Shane Long. A 6'6 small forward from right here at St. John's University, number 17, DJ Kennedy. And rounding out the starting five, a 6'3 guard from St. John's, number 23, Harris Horn. Side to Jeff Goodman. Jeff. I got Gabe Sandoval here. Team 23, you guys are the underdogs, the major underdogs. Why were you guys able to get here? Team basketball, uh, having each other's back. We fight for each other. We've been together for a long time. Um, everybody in Arizona from the Pro-Am, shout out to you guys. We're here for you guys, the whole state of Arizona. The whole state's with us. Everybody's got our back, and we're playing defense just like that. A late change to the starting lineup. You may not play today. You insert instead, Dwight. Why did you do that? Yeah, I hyper extended my elbow yesterday a little bit on the switch on the big fella. So, you know, it's about the next man up. So I'm not 100%. So Dwight P's got to step up and be big for us today. But we got nine solid, and who knows, man? I might be the 10th guy hit the million dollar shot. You never know. Thanks a lot, Kim. Right, Back you. to you guys. All right, great stuff. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. They mentioned the change. Sandoval out of the starting lineup. Pedersen from South Dakota State into the starting lineup. Meanwhile, for overseas elite, the Bongo, McCollum, Harris Horn, Jefferson, and Todd O'Brien, the starters. Both, both coaching staffs, Mark, same game plan. Slow down the other team starting point guard, Cabongo and White. For the start of the game yesterday, it was Zach Andrews for Team 23 on a little pick and roll. Really woke everybody up early. Ended up making a Sports Center top 10 play. Let's see what they run here on the first set. Good denied defense by McCollum. There's Andrews. Unable to connect on the first bucket of the game this time, and here. Mike Cabongo back the other way to DJ Kennedy, played his collegiate basketball here in New York in St. John's. McCollum, a little floater in the lane. And neither team able to convert on their opening possession of the ball game. Friend, tell me about the styles of these respective teams when you look at Team 23. What's, what do they hang their hat on? Well, they hang their hat on this point guard, uh, Dobbin White, who can score. But they, they really move the ball, Mark, and they play excellent team defense. This is the longest team in the tournament in terms of size. Six different players, six, seven players. Remember, Peterson was the surprise starter, and so far, early in this game, the ball's gone through him, and he's been a little bit shaky. Cross court. Side now to Kennedy, well contested by Peterson with the block, and back comes Zavin White. Yeah, Kennedy's gone at Peterson twice. Inside, Andrews couldn't get the handle. Now McCollum at numbers momentarily. McCollum probing the paint, kicks it out to Kennedy. Great show and go, and Kennedy has the game's first field goal. DJ Kennedy. A very nice stint with the Houston Rockets summer league team just several weeks ago out in Las Vegas. I saw him have a 21.7 rebound game while he was out there. A whistle and a foul going to be called. One more look at DJ Kennedy's work, friend. Hard to believe he can't play somewhere. D League, certainly high level Europe. I think he's waiting for that invite to an NBA training camp. And what you love about DJ Kennedy is he's a jack of all trades, can play multiple positions. Peterson's insertion in the starting lineup has slowed down this offense so far. Davin White couldn't get the layup to go, and back comes Overseas Elite. Overseas Elite jumped out ahead yesterday in their semifinal win against City of Gods. Kennedy, a key part of that victory, and he knocks down the three. They lead five to nothing. You saw the respective share of the money, and you saw Kennedy perhaps give a little cash money sign after he knocked down that J. That's going to be a foul against McCollum. 
One more time, 97 teams began this journey some several weeks ago, and we are playing predominantly college basketball rules except for 18-minute halves. Six personal fouls, three media timeouts per half, using a 35-second shot clock as well. It should uh, make it a little bit easier for most of these guys, Fran, who are pros either domestically or overseas. Everybody on the court has played with a 24-second clock in the future. I wouldn't mind seeing this tournament go to that clock. It helps the team ahead because they can use that extra time to milk the clock. Tried to get the pass to Andrews. It's going to be a kick ball. It'll maintain at this end with Team 23. Remember, folks, if you watched us yesterday, we have both coaches wired for sound and get some great sound from inside the huddles during the course of the game and from the sidelines. Little jitters early. I, I see, Mark, both teams. Little million-dollar stage fright? Uh, has to be. They played a long time. The loser comes home with zero. Warren kicks it out to baseline. Kennedy off the mark that time. And rebounded by Team 23. That's Larry Owens. Larry Owens was one of the first guys to sign up for Team 23. He was a key get for the crew and uh, Mr. Iliano who put this team together. Out of bounds, it'll come back the other way. Ron Kadich is the head coach for Team 23. This crew usually mostly out of the Phoenix area. Mentioned Mike Iliano, the general manager. Colin Curtin, meanwhile, the overseas elite head coach. Said at the top of the show, this was a team that when the tournament first began, their first game, they were short of bodies. They only had four players until Travis Bader landed just 90 minutes before tip-off. They whisked him to the gym and got him there just in time. Not a bad guy to add. 500 career threes in the NCAA, the most ever at Oakland University. Overseas a lead, a little static here with five on the shot clock. Kennedy takes out his do-it-yourself kit and gets the layup. He's got all seven points for Overseas Elite. Remember, Overseas Elite got out to that quick start yesterday over the Ants alumni, 10-0. A little slower today, obviously. Gabadon couldn't get the runner to go. And that's going to be a traveling violation. Mike Cabongo was calling for the outlet. Couldn't get it, though, from Shane Lawall. And uh, what a story Shane Lawall is, number 10 for Overseas Elite, a guy that just joined the team a little over 48 hours ago after traveling right, right there from Nigeria to Paris and then a cross-country flight to New York. We have one ball handler. Nobody else can fucking dribble. Nobody, they scared as hell. Deed them up. DJ, your man sweet as pot. Bro, get him. Get him. Let's go. Come on, man. One and done, and we go. Fellas, when we get the rebound, Get it to Mike, and everyone just run. Right. We'll find hey, it. Hey, wait. Right. We'll find Shane grabbing the rebound. You got to call for the ball. You don't want to see it. Don't give him no turnover. Hey, 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 get up. Starts here. Starts and end in defensive end. Let's go. Interesting guy. Shane Lawall. He played in Italy this year. Won three different championships with his team. He's going to play at the famed FC Barcelona this year, Mark. But in the meantime, he's trying to make the Nigerian national team He's from Southfield, Michigan, but the Nigerian team made up of American players of Nigerian descent. A lot of money on the line for a weekend of hoops. Robin White off the mark. And that's how you clean things up, Zach Andrews. Jeff has more, though, Jeff. Yeah, Shane Luau landed here from Paris on Friday night late with his family. He took his wife out last night for a Broadway show. It's their two-year anniversary today, and he will fly back to Paris tonight to be with the Nigerian national team trying out for that training camp. Boy, what a journey it's been for Lawal. And he has a $95,000 monetary share and a potential $1 million win for overseas elite. So that's a flight worth taking halfway across the globe for him. Oh, nice pass. And oh. Andrews again on the pick and roll. So Team 23 now, friends, starting to find a little bit of offensive rhythm. And right through Dobbin White, that outstanding point guard we talked about. Kennedy off the mark. He's scored all seven points for overseas elite. And Team 23 turns it over. Kennedy back the other way. And another turnover. 
Owens at the other end. Well contested. Great hustle by Mike Cabongo. Uh, Owens needed to get some body contact there. He avoided contact. McCollum for three. A four-point play, potentially. He was close to that three-point line, and Eric McCollum fouled on the make. Watch this pick and roll, little pocket pass perfectly on that play before, Mark. And then you know this guy has made some four-pointers in his career. He averaged almost 40 points a game in the Chinese Basketball Association, a league with former NBA players, Eric Marbury, Emmanuel Moutier, among others. The wall inside. Yeah, Steph Marbury, actually, Eric, oh, his man. older brother, and oh. also a very <laughs> prolific collegiate player as well. That's when you know too much, Fran. Oh, White man. comes back at the other end. Dobbin White knocks down his first three-pointer. Dobbin White has had several great defining successful moments for Team 23 throughout the course of the tournament. Kennedy run off the three-point line inside to the wall. Kyle Fogg turns it over. It's a two-on-one now. Gabinon and one. Kabongo tried to take the charge. It's going to be a block instead. And Team 23, actually, no, they call the charge. Little okay. surprise there. I thought the defender slid under. Take a look now in transition. Watch Kabongo. No, he stood, the, yeah. he stood his ground. Yeah. Jeff Clark, a guy who has had great success as an official. That's right there. He officiated, Jeff Clark did the 2015 national title game in the NCAA tournament. And, uh, and Corbett has four NCAA championship games to his credit. So great officiating crew on hand today. A whistle and a foul underneath. <laughs> Score is 10 to 7. Playing two 18-minute halves. Talk to the officials before the game. They're going to let them play a little bit, but they certainly don't want that extra contact. Well, Bader didn't wait long to pull one. Bader, the NCAA's all-time leading three-point shot maker, the beneficiary of that turnover. Kabongo inside, got it blocked by White. Out of bounds, oversees the lead basketball. Well, how about Dobbin White? He's done everything for Team 23. This is a point guard. He's going to play in Tenerife this year, CB Canarias in, the, yep. in Spain. Lower level than the ACB, but a quality club. That baseline jump shot short by Kyle Fogg, who had a quick start yesterday. He was one of five players for overseas elite that had in double figures. The stare down three by White is off the mark. Rebounded by Zach Andrews. Man, he's been active, but he turns it over. Kennedy on the move, and Kennedy with the easy slam. And White tried to give the international yeah. foul, but it was just a brush, brush by. I think both teams, Mark, particularly uh, Team 23, they've been much more poised in this tournament than the start they're off to. That baseline jump shot good. Abaddon went 14 and six a couple of games ago in their regional championship game. Bader had it rattle halfway down and out. You know, a great component of this tournament, friend, is the fan participation. There's a fan out there somewhere that's gonna get a chance to win $5,000 after this is all said and done if they're the top fan and fans will split up a pool of some $50,000. The action on the court. It's a winner take on $1 million and Man. I'll tell you what, Dobbin White has his designs on that cash. He split that trap easily. Cabongo took the contact and finished through it. Mike Cabongo, the former Texas star, played for Rick Barnes for Couple of years. White takes it right at the basket and draws the foul from Shane Lawal. Overseas elite leading by three, a million bucks up for grabs when we return.
That's a clean one right there. The basketball tournament presented by Jack Link's Jerky. Feed your wild side. Welcome back, everyone, to the Bronx. It's a three-point ball game. We're joined now by head coach Ron Kadich, the head coach of Team 23. Coach, thanks for joining us. You guys got off to a little bit of a slow start. What changed for you to put you back in this ball game? Uh, just we, we, we made a couple shots. That's the main <laughs> thing. We made a couple shots. Um, we just got to stick, stick with what got us here, defense, and uh, we'll be all right. We just got to gotta, uh, weather this first run, and, and we'll, we'll get back into it. What don't you like, Coach, about the start? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead. What, don't, what didn't you like about the start, the first uh, eight minutes or so? What I did or didn't? Did not. Um, just we let them get too many easy shots. That's the main thing. Go, go. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. We'll let you get back to the game. Gavin with the reverse layup. Hey, hey, break it up. Let's go, break it up. Hey, sit down, Trav. Sit down, Trav. Trav, yes, yes. We need to get our AK in the back in a minute. Be ready. Yeah, let's go. Right here. Stay down. That bucket that they scored, friend, they drew that up that way, right? The you know, UCLA cut? How about Gabe Sandoval drawing that up? The, the starter, normally, who's not playing so far today because of the hyperextended elbow, he did draw that up. They went right at Bader. Ball tipped out of bounds. Team 23 has surged ahead by a pair here. With nine and a half minutes to go in the first half. Well, here's exactly that play we talked about. They ran Gabadon off a little UCLA cut. He got the ball in low. They felt they could operate on Bader, and they exactly did. And guess what? Bader's now sitting on the bench. A little bit of a matchup problem. We talked about the fact that Team 23 has six players, six, seven, or taller. Their length can be a problem at times for their opponents. Robin White gets into the paint. The floater a little bit strong. And Cabongo with the loose ball. Great effort by Mike Cabongo, but unable to come up with it. Team 23 basketball. One more look. That's something that's characterized this tournament. Guys laying it all out there. And obviously, as this game grows, we get closer to the end. They'll be laying it out even more, Mark. Cabongo has uh, been in the D League for the last couple of years. Texas Legends. He was in a couple of camps with the 
Miami Heat, San Antonio Spurs, and finding his way right now. And he played a great ball game yesterday. And when you're in the D League, folks, you're close. You've got to understand that because there were 63 call ups from the D League this past season. And as you said, sometimes it's just a matter of guaranteed contracts and the fit. Yeah, yeah. We, we've seen Zach Andrews is out here today competing. He played for the L.A. Defenders last year. Calvin White fouled on the play by Kyle Fogg. Folks, first place in the NL East is on the line tonight as Bryce Harper and the Nationals face the Mets and their new star player, Yoenis Cepedes. The Amazons took the first two games of the series and are now just one game behind the Nats for the division lead. Baseball rules on ESPN, and we're going to be talking about that million dollars on the other side of this. Dean 14 with just under nine minutes to go. Mark Jones courtside along with Fran Fraschilla and Jeff Goodman. This journey began several weeks ago. 97 teams became eligible by garnering fan votes via the internet and social media. 18 teams in four different regions were given berths by virtual qualifying that way. And then another six in each of the four regions got in. What a journey it's been. And, and to hear some of these teams talk about their defining moments. Each of the teams that got to the semifinals here in New York in the Bronx had that one moment where it seemed like they wouldn't make it, and it really underscores the level of talent, friend, in this tournament and the fine line between winning and losing in these games. Well, there's no question. You had a, you know, look at the teams that have been defeated. Bayheim's Army, made up of former Q Syracuse stars. The Notre Dame fighting alumni, the defending champs with some quality, quality players. Hey, I met Team Jabroni today <laughs> who got knocked out in the second round. They're sitting behind the Team 23. Bench. I'm going to head to the lobby and buy one of those Team Jabroni jerseys yeah. that they have on sale outside. Just under nine minutes to go. And, of course, we talked about the fan involvement. A fan has a chance to win $5,000. Being the number one fan, Horn, and onto the wing. I had a ham and jabroni sandwich uh, yesterday. How about you? <laughs> the wall fouled <laughs> underneath, double teamed, and uh, yeah, there's a couple of the yeah, they are. jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> the jabroni project was eliminated, I think, in the third round. Yes, they got beat by Jamario Moon's team, former NBA player. Right. Of course, Team Jabroni already preparing for next year. Are they trying to bring you aboard, Fran, for a little consulting? Is that, is that what it is? Well, you know, we're, we're in negotiations right now. <laughs> By the way, we do this, just got a shot block, also known <laughs> as Jandre Jefferson. Yes. <laughs> and now a two-on-one, McCollum. Oh, great oh, defense oh. by Eric McCollum, whose brother, C.J. McCollum, stars for the Portland Trailblazers. He'd be proud of his brother on that play. We know this guy can score 40 points a game, but that's pretty good defense. Yes. Madonna's has had no problem wanting to get to the rim, and that time he was uh, shunned away. I'll call him the leading scorer for this overseas elite team coming in, averaging a little under 24 points a game. And a foul there. Talked about the fact that he scored 82 points in a game in the Chinese Basketball Association this year. And Played against some pretty good point guards at times, including Stefan Marbury mm -hmm. and uh, Emmanuel Moutier before he was injured, the number seven overall pick of the Denver Nuggets. They play a 48-minute game like the NBA, and they had, they had 10 guys average over 30 this year, but 39 is still outstanding. And a timeout called by Overseas Elite, who right now have stalled in neutral. And Coach Kadich is going to draw one up for Team 23. Back inside Rose Hill Gym, the venerable edifice on the campus of the 
Fordham University. It's old. It's an old building too. That too. Yeah. <laughs> the oldest facility in use on campus in Division One basketball. Great history in here. I remember uh, the Baker League and the Rucker League teaming up in the 70s. Dr. J. McCollum yeah. knocks down the three to give overseas the lead. Now, to put it in perspective, he played at Goshen College. Look at that pass. Nice feed. Kelly couldn't cash in. And Kennedy with the rebound. The wall running the floor. Oh. Kennedy, great defensive play by Andrew Kelly. Oh, pardon me, Fogg on the baseline. Pardon me, that was Lowens with the last block. Nonetheless, Kyle Fogg with the three, giving overseas a lead, a four-point lead. One million dollar winner-take-all game here today. Nice look underneath. Kelly kicks it back out. Larry Owens, formerly of Oral Roberts, tried to make the cross-court feed, but it's knocked out of bounds by a Kennedy. Time out on the floor. Well, Eric McCollum, a guy that can get you buckets. This is how he does it in China, and it translates. Word, huh? <laughs> like it's a goof, a goofball, you know, like <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Such a yeah, They don't yeah. usually throw it yeah. from the back screen. Like, you know, like that a guard, Pittsburgh's white likes yeah. to pop back and get the shot. Yeah, yeah, so just I mean. be ready. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. That's fine. We're good. Talk on defense. Pick up the energy right now. Right, right now. Right now. Guys, they've been running that flex action where he'll come and do the back screen, send someone to the rim. Hey, He's trying to get a shot. Listen, we all get switched. So if you see the back screen, just talk. Switch. switch up, hit the man so he can't even come off that. And we can switch. That's how we got to do that. Keep talking. Let's get a stop right here, man. They don't usually throw it from the back screen. The guard, White, likes Four timeouts a game. All right, inside the huddle of overseas elite as we want to bring in head coach Colin right now. and. Uh, Coach, you guys are up by four points. Uh, how do you keep this momentum going right now? It, it all starts and it all finishes on the defensive end. I thought we did a really good job coming out, bringing that energy, getting stops, getting turnovers, uh, rebounding, and, and then doing what we do, like to go up and down the floor and get, get some easy buckets. Coach, your guys all play at a high level. Uh, how much leeway? It sounds like you're giving them some leeway in those huddles as far as decision making. Yeah, absolutely. They're pros. They make my job a lot easier. I don't I don't really have to do too much, but you know, these guys have been playing basketball for, for so long. They know what to do. They know what to do. We, we do some things here in and out of timeouts, uh, draw some stuff up, just some misdirection stuff, but other than that, these guys know how to play. Uh, you don't have to tell them how to play. So, Coach, thanks for joining us. We'll let you get back guys. to the game. All right, take care. I'll follow yeah, Kyle. Good job, baby. Good job. I know. Get it in. Get 
Good job. Get back, get back. Good job, Kyle. Get back, get back, get back. Let's go. Hand up, hand up, hand up. Good help defense by Oakley. Good job, Kyle. Good job, baby. Get that energy. Good job, good job, good job. The bongo inbounds it. Paris Horn played his collegiate basketball. A couple burrows over in Queens at St. John's. Tough move and draws the foul on Okasun, and he earns a trip to the free throw line. Harris Horn, 6'3", out of St. John's, playing for a $100,000 stake in this potential $1 million windfall for the winner. Both he and DJ Kennedy brought to St. John's by former head coach Norm Roberts, now at Kansas with Joe Sutton. Coach Roberts recruited some good players. Overseas Elite up by three, just under six minutes to go. If you're just joining us, watching Overseas Elite with the lead against Team 23, the two finalists in this $1 million winner take all basketball game. In the tournament that started with 97 teams several weeks ago. There is no entry fee for the basketball tournament. All you need is 100 fans, votes online. White double team. Nice pass. Not sure he meant for it to bounce off one of one player and go to another, but they get the bucket anyway. And Horn almost came up with that steal. I know his other St. John's head coach, Steve Lavin, is probably tuning in as well. These guys took him to the NCAA tournament. A couple of guys that uh, are really looking forward to coming to the Bronx and playing some basketball again. McCollum with the miss, and Dobbin White now can tie the game up for Team 23. Oh, I see a good play. Sweet move inside, couldn't cash in. Kelly couldn't either. A whistle and a foul gonna be called against Dobbin White, and Jeff has more on Andrew Kelly. Andrew Kelly, a great story. A kid that sprouted up, was only about five foot eight in high school, did not play for his high school team, went out as a senior and was cut. And the coach basically told him, you know what? You should find something else to do. Instead, he persevered, turned down an academic scholarship at Arizona State, went out to play at Alaska Anchorage, and now look at him. He's been playing in overseas for the last couple of years, and now he's got a chance to win a lot of money here today. Yeah, Jeff, you, you talk about a growth spurt. He had a nine-inch growth spurt after high school. That'll, that'll change your recruiting profile and the number of stars <laughs> you have after it from yep. time to time. D.J. Kennedy trapped underneath. LaWall couldn't find the handle. McCollum does. They're not giving Kennedy that three. Boy, Team 23 playing great defense here. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Kabongo thought about the three. This is their M.O., Mark. They've done this all tournament. Kennedy taking out his do-it-yourself kit. Didn't work. And a rebound put back. And a foul on the play. As Jefferson will go to the free throw line. Well, it's a uh, West Coast battle in Major League Soccer today. Wondolowski and Adi facing off in a promising goal fest. San Jose against Portland at 5 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. And watch ESPN. Love the back of that jersey, don't you? <laughs> we do this. We do this. Now, because he was added to the team late, they didn't have a jersey with his name on the back. And uh, the basketball tournament having a little fun, right? Yep. So they put, we do this on the back. Not a bad uh, slogan. Uh, well, I was hoping that overnight they'd change the name to I Get Buckets. <laughs> Four-point ball game, 4.20 to go in the first half, playing two 18-minute halves in this one. The bongo really shadowing White. He is the engine for this Team 23 club. Boy, a lot of one-on-one -on -one here by Team 23. Didn't work out. Good rebound. Harris Horn 
battling underneath. And it'll be overseas elite basketball. Dobbin White, friend, just three of eight from the field. We do this. Let's watch this ball, see who knocks this off. I caught a little break there. Overseas elite, although that def defender came in up from behind. Horn sold it a little bit. Here's McCollum with the floater off glass. Okasun with the rebound and the run out. Good catch right there by Kelly. He was out of control. Ooh, oh, White boy. breaking ankles and one. Dobbin White in flight right there. Breaking ankles and hurting feelings. Ooh. This guy can play. Dobbin White, 33 years old, still playing at a high level. Take a look right there. Ooh. A million dollar floater off glass. And halfway across the world in Spain, they're cheering for him. back everyone to one of the world's largest cities thriving metropolis of New York and if you're fortunate enough to play in this city it's great but it's not the only place look at the number of stops that our guy Davin White has made Mexico Serbia Mexico again Germany Bulgaria Israel and uh, friend where exactly is uh, Basquet Manser uh, I know you know where it is no it's 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 west of Barcelona about 45 minutes and that was his last stop this year he'll play at the CB Canarias on the uh, island uh, city of Tenerife in, in the uh, Canary Islands. And there you see his wife, Bianca. She was telling us before the game she's got family in Spain, relatives, right. and the adjustment very easy for yeah. her. Speaks from Spanish and son Yale in there. Uh, just chilling, dreaming about a million bucks. And, uh, you know, got to buy Similac too, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while for us, right? <laughs> I, I don't remember those days. DJ <laughs> Kennedy fouled, and they're looking for the goaltending call. Not sure they're going to get it, though. That foul is going to go against number 21, Andrew Kelly. And you see how they went right to Kennedy out of the timeout. They These teams pick a matchup just like an NBA team would, see if they can exploit it, and Kennedy able to do that right there. Hey, Fran, he's got four fouls, Kennedy does already. Keep in mind, though, although we're playing predominantly college rules, we are allowing the rules to do six fouls before DQ. Take one more look. Let's see. They called the foul early. I think Brian O'Connell had that foul out on the floor. Okay. 
Kennedy knocks down both. E.J. Kennedy played for the Houston Rockets Summer League team several weeks ago out in Las Vegas. A.K.A. Big Play DJ. Is that what his Twitter handle is? You like Dra Travis Bader's tri tri uh, Twitter handle, right? Oh. Darth Bader? Darth Bader. I tell you, they've been going at Darth Bader a little bit, though, on oh. defense. Nice move, though, that time. How about the old man? Alex Scales, 37 years old. Bongo drive and kick. Good ball rotation. That's the guy you want shooting threes. Yep. Eric McCollum drains another three ball. McCollum has a $125,000 stake in a potential $1 million win for his team, Overseas Elite. And spin move by Okasin is fouled on the play. Fouled by We Do This. And let's bring in Jeff for more on McCollum. Guys, good story from back in the day. Eric McCollum, three and a half years older than his brother, Portland Trailblazers guard C.J. McCollum. And the two of them, basically, C.J. would tag along with Eric, and Eric had no choice. His mom would tell him, hey, listen, if you're not going to bring him to play ball. Bongo with the steal and hoop. If you're not going to bring him to play ball with you, you're not going out and playing ball. At first, what he did they basically let CJ just shoot a couple shots, or if they play baseball, he'd take a couple of bats that didn't matter. And CJ would get very, very upset. And as CJ got older, then the at-bats, the shots, they started to count. <laughs> uh, you got to hook up little bro once in a while. Of course, CJ has been an ardent supporter of overseas elite and was in Chicago last weekend for the Super 17. They determined the four regional champions. Rebound by D.J. Kennedy. Six-point lead for Overseas Elite. Kennedy in a rush. Draws the foul. And almost had himself a chance for a three-point play, shaking his head, saying, I don't think they can guard me. They can't stick me. It's that versatility we talked about with D.J. Kennedy. We see him rebound the ball. He can shoot the three. That time putting it on a deck. And Andrew Kelly's got to be very careful, Mark. He's out there with four fouls right now. Of course, Gabe Sandoval, a starter, not playing today so far because of the hyperextended elbow. Kennedy makes the first free throw. Kelly going to go to the bench, but back to D.J. Kennedy. You saw his $90,000 share and a potential $1 million winner-take-all win here for his team, Overseas Elite. Friend, this Overseas Elite team, as much as any team in this tournament, is a, is a group of guys that have been thrown together, kind of a, a speed dating type of deal. And, yeah. you know, look at their opponent today. They're all guys from the Phoenix area. Overseas elite come from all over. And even DJ Kennedy admitted, I'm not sure why we're gelling or how we're gelling so quickly, but we're playing well. The guys that play a lot of basketball overseas, and this is true with the NBA too, you learn the, you learn the game, you learn all the nuances that oftentimes you don't pick up in college and you learn late. These guys understand offense, defense, pick and roll coverages. It's like getting traded during an NBA season and you go to another team. It's not that big an adjustment. Interesting point. Under two minutes to go here in the first half, and Overseas Elite has led for most of the half, up by eight right now, on a seven to nothing run. Robin White at the free throw line, knocks down the first of two. White averaging 23 points a game coming into this game in the tournament. He's only had one turnover, friend, in the last three contests. Taking you know great care of the ball. It's interesting because he has played really well, but they are really working on him and harassing him. Look at that. Okasun with the flush. This kid played in Egypt last year, Mark. He has got to be able to play at a higher level somewhere in Europe. I'm Look how mobile he is for his size. Finished off his career at Northwood with head coach Roly Massimino. DJ Kennedy with great hustle, but he got out of bounds. As a result, hey folks, first place in the NL East on the line tonight as Bryce Harper and the Nationals face the Mets and their new star, Yoena Cepedes. The Amazons took the first two games of the series now, just one game behind the Nats for the division lead. Baseball rules on ESPN. Yeah, my guy Lucas Duda went deep twice last night. And big double off the wall late, watching that. I'm starting to talk about my Mets again. We're over 500, man, I and it's you, August. I haven't heard you talk about the Mets like that since 86. <laughs> Come on, man. Dwight and Daryl and Keith Mookie. Yeah. <laughs> right, Sid Fernandez. Kevin Mitchell. 
Oh, that was a that was a that was a crew. We got a bunch of water on the floor. They're gonna try and clean it up. One and a half to go here. Five point lead for Team 23. How about our guy Alex Scales? He's played one game in the NBA with the San Antonio Spurs. Played one minute. Of course, he was an outstanding player at Oregon. I said to him Friday, remember practice? Tell me what it's like to play one NBA game. And I'm paraphrasing now. <laughs> he said, it stinks. <laughs> Not quite enough games to get the pension, but. But he got there. Yeah, great to see him out here balling still at an advanced age. He's Moonlight Graham, member of Field of Dreams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He had a terrific couple years at Oregon for Ernie Kent. Junior college transfer. He has a 107. Nope, not quite. He has an 82, pardon me, $82,000 share and a potential win for Team 23. And five points and an assist. So is this the old man trick? Game. Is this the old man trick? Pour the water on the court hey, to catch a, hey, catch a breather? It or? happens. It happens. <laughs> Million dollars on the line for the winner in this game. The loser goes home without a dime. Just some great memories, hopefully. And some not so great if you don't yeah. win it. Robin White all the way to the cup and got it. Boy, they've been really shadowing him, and Cabango got caught in the backcourt. That was a really well designed play, a hook and ladder type play. He's got 12. He's earning it, too. Whistling a foul underneath as McCollum was trying to come off that baseline screen. One more look at that hoop. Look at this. They just catch him napping, and that's that hook and ladder we talked about. Now, that's good basketball. You talk about teams that, you know, you wonder the cohesiveness right. playing in a summer tournament like this. Excellent teamwork. McCollum knocks down the free throw. His brother, CJ, was... At the Super 17 last weekend in Chicago, was hoping to attend today's championship game, but was attending the wedding of a teammate, Myers Leonard, who was also plays with him in the Blazers. At Leonard's uh, wedding last night in Portland, in the Northwest, so. Must have been a heck of a party. Couldn't make that red eye. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta guess the reception was pretty good. Five point ball game, under a minute to go here in the first half. Overseas elite. With the lead, the winner taking home one million bucks. Oh. Great defense by McCollum. That pass telegraphed perhaps a little bit by Marcus Wells. Wells, the backup point guard. Hitting out to McCollum. Boy, McCollum thought about it from way deep. Got the mid range off. Henderson with the rebound. There's about a three second or two second difference between the shot and the game clock. I'll be interested to see if they can hold the ball this long. Because watch Cabongo. He's going to make White at some point attack the basket. Now, we saw yesterday, Mark, if White gets it back, high pick and roll, but they may not be able to get it back into his hands. Well, Cabongo all over Dovin White. Ten seconds to go here on the shot clock. Watch Scales. Wells tried to pull but lost the handle. Scales gets it. Tough feet inside. They're not going to get a shot off. Oversees elite with a few ticks left on the clock here. He's going to try and squeeze one off. Wonder if you take a timeout right here. Yeah, they're going to put some more time back on the clock. Should have stopped a little bit sooner when the shot clock expired. It kept running. But great defense on that possession by Mike Cabongo on it. Dovin White. Dovin White's playing well, but Mike Cabongo is really making him work. And that's what you want to do. Try to wear him out in the first half. 3.3 seconds is a lot of time. They go for the home run pass, and Okasun breaks it up. Wells, no, they're not able to launch in time. And that's the end of the first 18 minutes of play. Overseas elite, who barely made it through their first round game not having enough players minutes before tip with the lead. Let's go courtside to Jeff. Eric, you guys up five at the half. What's been able to work for you so far? I think our defense intensity is great. Um, we're denying the ball. We're getting after it. We're hedging on the screens. We have to do a better job of guard penetration and keeping the ball at the paint. But other than that, if we keep this intensity up, well, we could be going home with the money. 
Yeah, what does this money mean to you and your teammates? Uh, you know, it's for everybody it means something different. You know, it depends on where you're at in your life and your career. Um, at the end of the day, everybody plays the game for the love and for the pride. So when there's money on the line, that just increases the stakes and it gives you extra motivation to come out and play harder. Thanks a lot, Eric. Thank you. Mark Jones courtside along with Fran Priscilla. Jeff Goodman joining us in just a bit, Fran. 18 minutes to go. One of these teams is going to win a million dollars in 18 minutes. Put your coaching hat back on for me. I'm looking down the minutes column. A couple of these guys have really worn off the tread on their tires. What do you do with a guy like Dovin White, who's done a lot of the heavy lifting yeah. for the next 18 minutes? You leave him out there. <laughs> Seriously, he's got 18 more minutes. He's in great shape. And But you got to give... Uh, you got to give Overseas Elite credit because Mike Cabongo has shadowed him all over the place for Overseas Elite. I love what D.J. Kennedy's doing. He's scoring, he's rebounding, he's defending. Yeah, Kennedy had 13 points in the first half to go along with three rebounds. Talked about White's minutes. Cabongo played 15 minutes in the first half. Pretty heavy minutes as well, but this is winning time. This is money time, literally and figuratively. Underway here in the second half. How about Marcus Wells starting at the point? Oh, Lock boy. And a follow by Zach Andrews. Stayed with it. He's trying to get on Sports Center top 10 <laughs> two days in a row this weekend. Yeah, he had the number one play last night on that pick and roll dunk. I don't know. There's a lot of baseball today. I don't know. <laughs> but that's a great way to start. Oh, great screen inside. The wall going to work. A little step through move came up short. Good hustle by Zach Andrews at the defensive end. Did he double dribble? Almost might have gotten away with him. What do you make of Wells getting the start here in the second half? Probably right? want to keep uh, you know White fresh a little bit. Okay. Wells helping out with the ball handling duties. Larry Owens going to work. High speed inside. Abaddon couldn't finish. We saw that yesterday. I'm sorry, yeah. Mark. We, they played through Owens yesterday in the World Cup. Kennedy on the move. Draws the foul and one. Big play, DJ. We talked about his versatility. That time, he's he gets that ball in, the, in space in the open court. Time and time again today, he's been kind of a matchup problem. Look at him bring it. He's going to finish it at the rim and not even use the backboard. Here's the dunk at the other end by Owens. Got blocked on the first one. Pardon me, Zach Andrews. Knocked it down. DJ Kennedy with a $90,000 winning share and that potential $1 million win. If overseas the league can hang on for the next 16:49, but you can bet the team 23, the lowest remaining seed at 13 coming in, is going to have a lot to say about it before it's all over. Wells out top. Whistle and a foul underneath. Coach Kadich is using is using White as a screener. Wells on the ball. White's trying to get his teammates open. But at some point, I want the ball back in White's hands. What, are they trying some screen the screener action to free I, him loose, maybe? I, or? Because Cabongo is like on him like Velcro. It almost becomes a double screen, but at this point in the game, I want White to have the basketball. Nice. Underneath, Owens got loose and cashed in with the layup underneath. Larry Owens. First player to sign up for this Team 23 crew out of Royal Roberts University. He had 19 games in the NBA. D-League All-Star as well. Call him out top. Oh, nice D. You see the way Gabadon moved his hands? Feet down in his stance. Call him tough shot. Couldn't finish, and here's White. Difficult pass, never made it to its destination. A three on one, and Kennedy turned it over. White on the crossover is fouled by Mike Cabongo. Might have been a good thing, too, because they had numbers after Cabongo slipped and fell. Watch Kennedy right here. They were trying to give a foul, that international foul. Kennedy just lost the ball. And White put the pressure on Cabongo. 97 teams began this journey several weeks ago. Teams were put together by the respective general managers of 
in 97 and got the requisite 100 fan votes via internet and social media. That jumper by Wells, no good. Nobody there for the offensive rebound. Cabongo walks it up court for overseas elite. The South Regional Champs. Kennedy with a strong move, blocked at the rim. And a nice run out here for Team 23. Wow, White pulled from way deep. Lawal with the rebound. White stole it from him. He ripped him. Cookies. Ooh. How about White? You know, he shot that ball, and I was wondering, hey, what are you thinking? But no one checked him. Oh, they've got him out of control right now, Mark. Bongo got loose with the dribble and then drew the foul after getting it back. It's a little physical out there. Watch White now. He's going to pull up from behind the three-point line, and nobody checks him out. He just goes in there and hits the wall. Hey, friend. It's a million dollars on the line. No question. Wife and baby on the sideline. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be, you know, I'd be boxing my little, you know what off. Yeah. Winner take all here. You know, I really do think we get on, we get inside of ten minutes, and this game stays close. You're gonna, this, it's gonna be a palpable wow. feeling in here about that money. The bongo. Nice drive and kick. They ran Kennedy off the three-point line, but they got it to the three-point shooter who came up short. Congo's been a pest. Nice dime inside to Kennedy. Mike Cabongo, ubiquitous. He is 94 feet baseline to baseline everywhere today. And it's a four-point lead for overseas elite. 18 points for DJ Kennedy. Cabongo's done almost all of his best work on the defensive end today. White with a pass to Wells on the drive. Wells draws the foul and one. Oh, they call an offensive foul. Wells got all the way to the rim. Wow. Remember, they're playing the inside arc. Who's that, Cabongo again? They yeah, took the charge. Yeah, yep. no, he was there. And, and you know what? Remember, the outside arc is the arc they'll play with this coming year. The inside arc is the college rules right. from a year ago, and that's what we're playing. Cabongo holds up two fingers. Looks like he's going to call that form set, something like it. It's the, uh, I've been listening to you, Fred. No, no, that's the, uh, internet, that's the, you know, the worldwide play there, the double high post. Cabongo comes off that ball screen from LaWall. They looked inside. LaWall couldn't post up. Cabongo on top. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Got 11. Cullum. Good matchup with Owens. Great defense by Team 23. Four on the shot clock. He's got to get busy. Threw up the floater. And a good defensive sequence that time by Team 23. Larry Owens with that length. He's terrific defensively. Gavin on to the bucket. Draws the contact. And one. Travis Gavadon out of UT San Antonio. Take a look, watch him use his body yeah! to wall off, no pun intended, Shane Wall. He gets body to body with the shot blocker and that eliminates the verticality right there. Gavin on at the free throw line, trying to make it a one point ball game, an $82,000 plus share. And that potential $1 million on the line for Coach Kadich's crew. 13 and a half minutes to go. Mark, you know what the sad thing is? The loser gets no money. I call that more than sad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Scales, the 37 year old, came up short. And Kennedy clears for overseas elite. Kennedy's that point forward right now. to the wall. Shane the wall, if you're just joining us, just joined the team 48 hours ago, flying in from Nigeria, where he was in camp with the Nigerian national team, and he turns it over. 13.01 to go. Friend, it seems like it's gotten into a little bit of a half-court type game. Are you surprised we haven't seen a little bit more of Travis Bader at this point, the NCAA's all-time three-point shooter. It's interesting. Remember, he got posted up by Gavadon, and, and uh, 
overseas elite has not gone back with him. You got to think he could open up your your offense a little bit. White. He is the all-time yeah. leading three-point shooter in NCAA history. White off the mark. So at some point you wonder about the minutes that White has logged and whether those legs might fatigue a little bit. Cabongo, known as a three-point shooter, knocked down a couple yesterday, though. Scales looked inside, says, why not? Oh, yeah. And that's their first lead, friend, since they led 16-14 in White with the steal. Alvin White comes up with the pinch. And team 23 already with a two-point lead. That mismatch. Gabadon took it in. And it'll come back the other way to Overseas Elite. And it looks like Overseas Elite is going to talk things over. They call timeout with 12.07 to go, and the winner Trout, getting Trout. one million. Great, great shot, boy. Definite contrasting tones from the two huddles, friend. Team US, team, I keep Team USA. How about <laughs> that? Team 23, who has hung its hat all tournament long on defense, has started really to batten down the hatches on that end. I've been impressed with their intensity. This Larry Owens is an excellent defender. Former Oral Roberts star. Going to be a foul against Zach Andrews on the reach. Under 12 minutes to go. We'll be right back. This is where it gets hectic, boys. Hey, that was good in the inside. Hey, I ain't going to be. I ain't going to be. I'm here for y'all. He had a mismatch. You had a mismatch. <laughs> that was a real coming to Jesus moment. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> hey. Not NBA. Yeah. Ray Goodman and Brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Special Lady? Remember that song? Yeah. Got to be Girl your special. special lady. Because you got me sitting on, on top, top of the world. world. Hey, you know, after, after forgetting your wife's birthday, you should you should play that song. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You were so busy supporting your family and arduously working out there. We're on the bird. You going to let everybody know that? <laughs> sorry. Oh, did I just put you on blast? I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you made up with the buying that Mercedes for it. Okay. Welcome back, everyone, to the basketball tournament presented by Jack Link's Jerky, and this is what they are playing for. 
Who gets to fill in the blank? And who gets to count those commas? Two important ones there with all those zeros. The winner gets $1 million. The loser goes home with bruised feelings. Players, coaches, the GM, some fans, and Uncle Sam all <laughs> will get a piece of that money. Let's see what overseas elite runs coming out of this timeout. Kennedy, a little ISO. Threw up the floater and rebounded one and done. They got a decent look, Fran. What do you make of that sequence? So, but you know what? Here comes Andrews over there with that length. Remember, this is the tallest team that's, that was left in the uh, final four. You can see it right on that possession. Uh, listen to the foul going to go against Ronde Jefferson, <laughs> a.k.a. We Do This. Etched on the back of his jersey. Paris Horn coming in the ball game for Kyle Fogg. Scales has been very aggressive. The veteran getting some more run here today. Came up short on that three-pointer, though. And Kavongo controls for overseas elite. They're switching everything to the top. Congo with the drive and kick. Results in an open look and a three ball from Paris Horn. Gave overseas elite really good minutes yesterday. And he's a junkyard dog as well on defense. White behind the screen, the imposing screen from Zach Andrews. Over to Scales, tries it again. Off the mark. And out of bounds, it'll stay Team 23 basketball. Gales hit that 1-3, but he's uh, he's been very, very aggressive. He's trying to shoot his way into getting hot. Kind of a tenuous strategy with ten and a half minutes to go here and a million bucks on the line for the winner. Dobbin White, and it looked like he and Cabongo bumped heads, and they're both shaking up here. Yeah, they have been going at it this afternoon. That's going to be the fourth foul on Cabongo. And uh, still shaken up, as is White. Cabongo has done a really good job of shadowing White, but watch him reach in Ooh. right there, and they just bump heads. And Cabongo with four, six to disqualifies you. Been great sportsmanship, yeah. at least in the games we've covered here in New York. Boy, this tournament goes back a couple of years ago, and it was Len Elmore there with his son, Stephen, who last year was watching one of the games of the tournament. Lenny placing a call to our folks at ESPN, and uh, hey, we need to take a look at this. <laughs> Summer basketball is fine by me. I love it. Lenny's played some games in this gym, too. Mm -hmm. Going back to his high school days. A whistle and a foul. Cabongo being tended to on the sidelines. Rose Hill Gymnasium here on the campus of Fordham University. You see all the banners. It's the oldest on-campus D1 arena in use right now. And uh, inside of Lou Alcindor's final high school game. Used his barracks in World War II. And uh, Mello had his first jam here. Well, I, I put Lou Alcindor's <laughs> note again, ahead of Carmelo's. Nothing against I, Melo. And I might even go with the Barracks, too. Okay. It's a little more important. Okay. Yeah. Rumble in the Bronx. Big picture. Was when uh, Melo had that dunk in a high school summer tournament. Shane Lawal drives the foul on his drive to the hoop. Kamango still on the sidelines. Uh, this is one of the few breaks that he's gotten today by virtue of the injury. Looks like... Uh, Drew blood on that knocking of heads with he and Davin White. Bongo has new representation, and the hope is that he'll get into an NBA camp sometime soon here. McCullum, meanwhile, with the pull-up off the rim and flushed home by Shane Lawal. Gives it the old Q-Dog salute. Overseas elite with a three-point advantage now. He's going to get 95 grand for a weekend's work. He better follow up to those shots. Yeah. And in a blink, 
Donovan White ties the game up with the three. Donovan White now 6 of 13 from the field. Now you're going to start to feel some pressure, Mark. Close game. Every shot now is going to matter. That jumper a little bit short. You've got to figure out a way now if you're overseas elite to slow down Donovan White. Kabongo was doing the job defensively guarding him. And right now, because Kabongo's on the bench, they've got Kyle Fogg trying to stick him. Gabadon turns it over. And Horn fouled from behind by Marcus Wells. Let's go courtside to Jeff for more on Kabongo. Just talked to Mike Kabongo, and he's got a slight cut over his eye. Looks like he will end up going back in. Remember, this is a guy who's been in the D-League for the last two years, has made about $50,000 total, and he's got over $100,000 on the line right now. That's his stake. Kabongo, leader for this overseas elite team. Tied at 45. And remember, if you're just joining us, this overseas elite team barely had enough players to play in the very first game of the tournament several weeks ago down in their regional in Atlanta. They had four players ready to go until minutes before tip-off when Travis Bader joined the team just hours after playing a summer league game for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Didn't think he was going to have to play that much. Ended up playing about 25, well, well, most of the game for overseas elite. Inside, and Jefferson draws the foul. Nice drive by Eric McCollum, Jefferson, and Wall. We saw this yesterday, Mark. The two big guys teaming up inside. And that sends Jefferson to the foul line, playing for a $90,000 stake. John Gary Jefferson played in South Carolina. Among many of these guys who's played all over the world, who'll spend this season in Turkey. Played in Italy, too, along the way, Fran. Yep. Uh, what, what do you know about uh, Varese? Beautiful place to, uh, you can get fat there. <laughs> I was going to say, I know you've had a good meal there, man. <laughs> Some great pizza places. One thing better, you, better pizza in Italy than in, in New York City. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll go to the motherland for that one. Meanwhile, a two-point lead now for overseas elite. But the one thing we've learned in covering this tournament since it started is that there are great basketball players all over the globe. Eight and a half minutes to go. White. Harris Horn all over him, and now the switch. Jefferson switched out. White drives in into traffic. Lost it, got it back. Jefferson couldn't get it. Wells does. Goes right to White. That's the right guy, but the wrong result for Team 23. Second time in this half, he's come up short on the three. I know he made a big one a little while ago, but you just wonder if fatigue may be a factor. McCollum not tired on that jump shot. And Eric McCollum now has 13 points. He's their leading scorer coming into this Final Four weekend. Under eight minutes to go with a million dollars to the winner on the line. Winner take all. Good, solid defensive game plan. Oh, my goodness. Okasun, an ill-advised three-pointer. I don't even think you can call that a heat check at this point. Ramamur not on. <laughs> McCollum, that's a heat check. But he earned it by virtue of the last jumper that he knocked down. The loose ball scramble comes out to Horn. He's looking for the wall in the post up here. Wall facing up on Okasun underneath and gets the reverse to go. An 11-3 run now, friend, for overseas elite, up six. Harris Horn went right to the wall. And he took advantage of his quickness. He'll play this season in Barcelona, one of the best teams in Europe. Robin White takes out his do-it-yourself kid, and it's working again. 22 points for him after that three ball. So much for being fatigued. <laughs> Three-point deficit for Team 23. McCollum, pass out of bounds to the State Overseas Elite Basketball. Eric McCollum, who plays in China, where he gets it done. And then watch Shane LaWall with the spin move, using the backboard nicely.
Got five over here. Who's got five fouls? Yeah, who's in the penalty? Who's who's shooting? Who's, who's in the bonus? Nobody has five. Nobody has five team fouls? Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. What's the team foul situation? Does Marcus Wells have five? Marcus Wells have five. It's Get it, Paris, get it into him. Go up as strong as you can. Put him no, through no, the ring. You're hey, looking for Shay. Keep getting stopped. Catch, gather, and go up the fucking back. Go. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Together, together on three. One, two, three. Together. Yeah. <laughs> what about my boy Lowell takes on a Broadway show last night? Yeah. Where's his head at? <laughs> <laughs> it's a million bucks, man. Hey. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> Always. They did go at him, though. <laughs> they did go at him. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, Paris, get it into him. Go up as strong as you can. Put him no, through no, the ring. Hey, You're looking for Shane. Keep your stop. Catch, gather, and go up the fucking back. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Together, together on three. One, two, three. Together. Inside the huddle of Overseas Elite, you heard the strategy, Fran. Uh, Looks like they're going to go inside to the big fella, Shane Lawal, who's uh, gotten in rhythm here offensively of late. How's he done it? Well, well, you know what? He's got good speed and quickness for a guy his size. Remember, he could have been jet lagged arriving late Friday night from Nigeria through Paris to New York. Let's move inside to Kennedy. He wasn't supposed to be the recipient of the play, but got it to go anyway. And it's a five-point lead. DJ Kennedy, a.k.a. Big Play DJ, with 18 points, pardon me, 20 now. The closeout on Wells. Okasun inside, had that misguided three a moment ago. That more his style gets the jump hook to fall. He went right at Shane Lawal, who I described a little bit yesterday like a DeAndre Jordan type defender. I can't believe that Okasun only plays in Egypt. Wow, what a shot by Eric McCollum. Goshen College, the Maple Leafs. Scored about 2,600 points in his career, an NAIA Division II All-American. White open for three, doesn't need much room. Yeah. Wet. That jumper is falling. That's two threes in a row for Dolphin White. He has 25. It's fun when the best players play their best at the end. Horn with the get back at you. Under five and a half minutes to go. One million dollars goes to the winner. White looking for that screen from Okasu. Well defended that time. He gets it back. 20 on the shot clock. Abaddon sets the screen this time. Kennedy on the switch. Great pocket pass. Foul. And Okasu will go to the free throw line. Lots of contact up near the rim. No easy buckets with under five minutes to go, Fran Fraschilla. Terrific play right there. You know what, Okasun, the big guy, to be able to catch and gather as you see Mike Cabongo waiting to check in. That's a hard play. I think this kid, Okasun, who started his career at Seton Hall, ended with Roley Massimino down at Northwood in, in Florida, I think this kid's gonna end up with a better contract. I don't know what his situation is. But he certainly can play at a higher level than Egypt. Yeah. Great pocket pass on yeah. that last play, too, Fran. More importantly, this is a hard catch right here. Mm. And that's going to be a dunk minus the smart foul by McCollum. Okasun telling our Jeff Goodman in yesterday's semifinal game that his mother was making the trip over to the United States from Africa. We'll be joining him on Wednesday. 
Okasun playing for a healthy share of that potential $1 million. He's going to get a quick breather here. Perhaps getting a look at some offense versus defensive substitution patterns in these last few minutes of the ball game. Two point lead for Overseas Elite. Boy, Andrews aggressive on the switch. McCollum looks at the official, doesn't get the call. He's got the big guy on him. Kabongo for three. Rebound and a foul underneath. LaWall was fouled on the rebound attempt. Well, it's a West Coast battle in Major League Soccer today. Wondolowski and Adi facing off in a promising goal fest. You've got to love the Portland Timbers when they take on San Jose at 5 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2 and on Watch ESPN as Shane Lawal goes back to the free throw line. This guy finished his career at Wayne State in Detroit. And then like many of these guys, the overseas journeys began for him. He had a terrific year in Italy where he was part of three different championships and this year he'll play in Barcelona. He'll back up Ante Tomic, the outstanding big man that's been in Barcelona the last few years. Let's see Barcelona had a big summer with some of their new signings. The wall one of them. As he says, I'm underrated but you're going to find out about me soon enough. Unbelievable. Yep. How about this guy? This guy is butter down the stretch. 28 points for Davin White. Well, you think he's on a roll, don't you? No doubt. The wall, he's on a roll. Three-point lead for Overseas Elite. Oh, good Kabongo hustle. with great hustle. He got the deflection that resulted in the possession here for Overseas Elite. White's been terrific, but he's earning every basket. Cabongo's been all over him. Cabongo dishes it. Kennedy with the show and go, and gets the layup. Kennedy with 22. Five point lead for Overseas Elite. They're 325 away from taking home a million dollar check. Now, Mark, every possession takes on critical importance. Watch White, who's been so brilliant in this whole tournament. And then the finish. They brought Lowell in. He was on the roster on July 1st, so he qualified. And then DJ Kennedy, who's been Mr. Do-It-All in this tournament. This is the most players that overseas Elite has had. Hey, a lot of time, a lot of time. Relax, let's go. I'll give you everything I got right now. I know, I know, I, 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 I will. Hey. We gotta look, wait a minute. We gotta look, we gotta look. Team 23 basketball. They trail right now. White approaching his tournament average at 28 points per game. Pardon me. He surpassed it already. With 28 today. Little double high ball screen they call for right here. Let's see if they can get into it. Looks like they're not set. He'll pull from way behind that three point line. But they blitzed him that time and made him give it up 14 on the shot clock for Team 23. Gavin on the wing. Good show by LaWall. Tough shot. They got the rebound back. Five on the shot clock. Nowhere to go, and they turn it over. Kelly gave it up. Well, Kelly was spooked inside. He didn't want to shoot it, and he got stuck. Had to get rid of the rock. Turned it over. McCollum looking for a bucket here. Up by five. Eric McCollum for three. And that's going to be a foul against Overseas Elite. Timeout on the floor with two and a half minutes to go for a million dollars.
Oh no, it's oh we got so we're both we're both in the bonus. Okay. Yeah. Andrews is gonna shoot. Boy, that that three would have might have might have put it away, but And now you got our attention. Let's go, baby! Come on! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we got 20 minutes to the top of the hour. We're doing pretty good, right? Of course, I just jinxed us. White has 28. Kennedy has 22. Now, we're going to the free throw line, and uh, Andrews is shooting. The basketball tournament presented by Jack Link's Jerky. Feed your wild side. A little under two and a half minutes to go. Mark Jones courtside along with Fran Priscilla and Jeff Goodman. The question that begs right now with the time remaining is who gets to fill their name in. Payable two are two great words to hear and see, Fran, but it's the blank right now that counts. Andrew's going to the free throw line for Team 23. What do they have to do to claw their way back here? Well, they just got to get stops. And at two and a half minutes, it's a lifetime. And I'm going to tell you this right now. They're not playing for pride, OK? Forget that. <laughs> that went out the window. They're playing for the cash. And I don't care if you're a Winchburg College Club team or <laughs> Team 23. This has been a fabulous tournament. There is no entry fee. All you needed to do to be one of the 97 teams was get enough fan votes. Get 100 fan votes on the internet. Oh, and Andrews misses. In fact, the tournament flew the teams to Chicago for the Super 17, flew them here as well. An extremely well run tournament, resulting in a real competitive championship game here. And we got three high level officials, but I told them before the game keep the car running. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Get out of here quickly. <laughs> Now it looks like Overseas Elite Friend going to be a little bit more deliberate on this possession. Do you like the strategy or do you risk shutting it down well, too soon? Well, what I like about it is 35 seconds to these guys is an eternity. And I do like it. I think they're melting the clock and they usually have somebody who can get a good shot. Chris Horn takes it, drives it in. McCollum. Tough shot. Rebounded by Team 23. So they get the all-important stop they needed. And White has the ball, which is a good thing for them. Dobbin White with the dig. A foul as Andrews, boy, he did a kip up <laughs> to get off the court. <laughs> Zach Andrews in a show of unbridled athleticism after the miss. Good dish, watch this. He gets fouled, smart foul. And then he's a pogo stick. Unbelievable show of strength there. Hey, a million bucks will make you do a lot of things, friend. Hey, <laughs> he might be back-to-back -back Sports Center top 10 plays after that one. Wow. But, uh, he's got to make his free throws. Yeah. You talk about million-dollar free throws. Yeah. These. They're adding up here. They are adding up. Andrews makes the second. Now one of his last three. Just a four-point game. Yeah, and I like the strategy of milking the clock because multiple ball handlers out there for overseas elite, they can get a shot. Kabongo out to Kennedy. I think in the future they're going to reduce this to 30 or 24. 
Most of these guys are pros, right? They're all pros. Most of them can play this. Kennedy almost coughed it up. McCollum, pardon me. That's Horn on the spot. Look what I found. You talk about room service. It came right to him. And a reaching foul against Cabongo. Probably not a smart Ooh. foul right here, but Paris Horn, we've talked about it all weekend in New York. He's been Johnny on the spot. Wow. And that is a big basket, Mark. That is a four-point swing, but Cabongo with the foul allows White now to go back to the line. And stops the clock, yep. too. And he has a chance to get it down to a four-point ball game. You almost have to think about starting to press now if you're Team 23 because of the 35-second clock. Like Cabongo with five fouls now. You're allowed six. And another costly missed free throw by Team 23. They've missed three down the stretch here. And there's that pressure now we talked about. Cabongo double teamed. We might. And temper is flaring here. And you can certainly understand with now, the stakes as high as they are, folks, they can, why things would be a little frayed at the edges at this point. It has been a wonderfully played tournament to this point with tremendous sportsmanship from all teams. Now, will they go to the monitor? Okay, because they are allowed to go to the monitor here and are there going to be technicals assessed? As Cabongo was double teamed near midcourt there. And it looks like there's going to be a technical foul. No, there, there was a timeout call. Okay, Mark, timeout call. But then after the whistle. Right. After the timeout. And the officials going to the monitor to try and figure out what happened. Let's take one more look exactly at what transpired. Look. There's the timeout, the reach in. And see, Cabongo, that should be a technical foul right there. And that could be a very costly, in more ways than one, technical foul right here. Now watch. They get the timeout as Kelly ties him up. And then watch Cabongo just almost swings and pops Kelly. Yeah, he uh, swung that right arm, a little forearm shiver move right there. And that was unnecessary. Yeah. See, that was unnecessary. He kind of... I'm guessing Cabongo felt that uh, the whistle had already gone and they were still chopping at him. Yeah. That's one more look. Yep. See. There's the timeout. You know, Kelly uh, there holding his job, but I didn't see where Cabongo actually hit him. Uh, you know, to me, it's a technical foul on Mike Cabongo. Now, are they going to call it in this game with the referees having their cars running <laughs> Outside, these are three big time officials, yeah. and I think you adjudicate it like a college game. Yeah. We're going to find out what happened here in a moment as uh, Ed Corbett comes to our table here to let us know what happened. Ed Corbett has four NCAA championship games under his belt, and uh, Jeff Clark, another one of our officials today, is a referee in this past 2015 national championship game between Duke and Wisconsin. There's a look at Andrew Kelly who seemed to be on the receiving end of what transpired as was Mike Cabongo on the receiving end at one point. But uh, the officials Brian O'Connell Jeff Clark and Ed Corbett still trying to adjudicate this and figure out exactly what should result in it. I don't see where Kelly was hit. Yeah, you may be right, Mark. It, yeah. looked, it looked like maybe more of an act on Kelly's yeah. part, but he, it, he might have tried to sell it a little bit. Yeah. But, but I still think Cabongo in that situation does not need to overreact. I saw Ed Corbett kind of move his arms in a motion as if to say, Nothing, just time out, overseas elite, but we're still waiting for the final word. They're going to bring the coaches over. I thought they were going to make Kelly and Cabongo make up, you know. 
Oh, for a million bucks? No, no that is. You write me a check. That's why we use the monitor. White ball here. Let's go. What is it? White ball. Yo, we're good. Okay, so they had nothing, and yeah. Ron Cadage, you White saw, ball. Yep. he felt that uh, he thought they were kidding. Really kidding. Well, the difference is five. It's overseas elite basketball with 54.8 to go. Let's listen in. We're good. We're good. You guys gotta stop. Well, that could have been costly. Robin White there doesn't want to hear it from Mike Cabamba. We've seen bloodshed in this game, literally. Cabongo took one in a headbutt uh, accidentally, albeit earlier. You'll see this game called very closely because Team 23. Oh, and they get the turnover yeah, off did. the inbound pass. So it's fitting. They say ball don't lie. White gives it up to Scales. Well defended by Horn. Great hustle. Overseas Elite looking for the travel. Shot clock down to 17. Still plenty of time. White being denied by Cabongo. See, I, would, I would come get it if I were White. Gabadon launching a three. Great hustle by Andrews. Was he pushed out of bounds? He called a timeout before falling out of bounds. Great hustle once again by Zach Andrews with 24.8 to go. And Coach Kadich there going to try and draw one up for Team 23. As long as Andrews has a foot on the ground right there, he can call timeout. He cannot call it once he's in the air. Very smart move by Zach Andrews. You know, there are hungry plays and there are angry plays. Here is today's Jack Link's jerky, hangry plays of the game. And uh, this was a fantastic one by Shane Lawal here in the second half. Off the great feed from Cabongo. Lawal has been big for them down the stretch here. Joined the team 48 hours ago. Yeah, you're here. Yeah, Barry, you're here. I'll be here. No, put the switch back there. Oh, yeah. Put that one. The big man, if you get the screen, he's not going to help. Okay. He's popping out. Ball's going to you. You're swinging it. Oh, he's swinging it away. Yeah, he's good. I want to set it down screen for sales if you don't have a sack. Okay. So, there, you're popping. You're getting in here. Zach, you're going back to screen down. You're hitting screen down. If you don't have him, I'm head tight to scale. All right. Yeah, sales, you're out. Hey, we got a foul right when they inbound it. You got a foul, then you got a left. Defense on three. One, two, three. We got a foul right when they bring it in. All right, 24.8 to go. Mark Jones, Fran Fertilla, Jeff Goodman courtside here. The winner of this game takes home $1 million. Nothing goes to the loser. Fran, what do you make of the play they drew up here in the huddle? Well, they've got to get the ball to, to, to White, that's for sure. The second option is a down screen opposite for Alex Scales who can shoot it, but I would rest my whole tournament on getting the ball to Davin White, and that's what they're gonna try to do right Off there. Off the screen, gets loose and knocks it down! Wet! It's a one possession game now. A whistle, and we have, it looks like we got a foul. Yeah, Gavin the ball, Dead ball foul before the inbound pass. Yeah, but in college, it's a right, foul. Right. NBA, it's a different story. Right, right. Gabadon's going to watch this set. This is a great play. Inbound, inbounds play. The passer who threw it in. White gets the shot. Great screen. Gabadon away from the ball. Fouls Kennedy. Well, Kennedy going to the foul line. That's the sixth foul against Gabadon, so he is done. Kennedy at the free throw line has 22 points and five for five from the line today. Million dollar free throw, Mark. If he makes both, it's a two possession game. So either way now, this is a one possession game and Team 23 with a huge opportunity here, still alive. Team 23 must get this rebound.
And then he knocks down the second. It's a three-point game. No timeouts left for Team 23. Let's see whether overseas elite fouls or not. Got to keep an eye on Davin White. And they foul, sending Team 23 to the free throw line. Looks like it's going to be on scales. Pardon me. No. Horn. Pardon me. This is a little bit of a break for Team 23 because if White makes both of these, they'll only be down one and they'll foul immediately again and it'll remain a one possession game. White is four for seven from the line today. Two point ball game. Robin White is the leading scorer for Team 23. He's got 33 today. See, I would foul the wall away from the ball. I think he shot 50% in Italy this year, Mark. I would foul the wall, number 10. They're going to foul him. I would. Kennedy fouled there by Davin White. And White uh, holding his head. Boy, I'll tell you, they had an opportunity to foul Shane the wall away from the ball and make the big guy make two critical free throws. Well, either way, if he makes both, it's still a one possession game. You know, Kennedy should have been the one wincing in pain afterwards. He, he's the one that took the blow. Instead, he'll go to the free throw line. He's 16 of 19 from the foul line in the last two games. Went one for two on the last trip. If you're overseas elite, do you foul again here, Frank? I would. I would. I'd get, I, as that ball gets close to midcourt, I would not, if it's three, if it's right. three, I would not let... Team 23 shoot a right. three here. Only if it's a three-point advantage. Yes. This is a huge one. A million dollars to the winner on the line, and Kennedy misses. It's no a two-point game. No timeouts. They got to go. They got the wrong guy with the ball. Four seconds to go. Three. Andrews got to go with it. No. Puts it up for the. He won't get it off. Overseas elite taking home the cash. One million dollars. They hang on. Zach Andrews could not get the shot off in time. And the team that barely was able to field a lineup, five players on the opening week, takes home the $1 million check. Team 23 was out of timeout, so on the missed free throw, they could not find White, their go-to guy. And the play broke down. In a scramble possession like that, friend, it's so tough to find the guy you want, though, exactly. right? Exactly. Remember, Kelly is not an offensive-minded guy. So there's Andrews, another guy that's not used to playing away from the basket. And he didn't get it off in time anyway. Yeah, yeah White was smothered. Really didn't have much of an opportunity to get the ball. And instead, Zach Andrews forced to fire one up, albeit late. And Mike Cabongo holding up one single digit, and that one digit, you could put two commas and six zeros after it, because they're taking home some cheese. Back after this. This, uh, this oversized foam check represents the million dollars they're gonna receive for real later today. And hopefully they'll come back and try to defend their title in 2016. So congratulations, guys. Overseas Elite, a group of players that were put together. And the first weekend, they barely were able to field a team of five players. They didn't have their fifth player until Travis Bader landed at the airport in Atlanta and was whisked away in a car got to the gym just a few moments before tip-off and the rest folks is monetary history they take home the check once again overseas elite are the champions of the basketball tournament presented by jack links jerky for fran Fraschilla, jeff goodman and our entire crew i'm mark jones what a ride it's been here in the bronx from rose hill gym they're the champs overseas elite sports center is up next on espn Shane, you just won a million dollars, your team did. You flew in from France, France for this. Yeah, Paris. What, from Paris, uh -huh. working out with the national team. What's this like right now? Was it worth it? Oh, uh, man, it was, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it was definitely worth it, man. You know, uh, 
getting ready for the African Championships with Nigeria. EJ wants a mic. Huh? Yeah, EJ always wants the attention, man. You know, he's he's he's, he's about business, but um, flew him from um, Paris with the Nigerian national team to come here and uh, and put some uh, put put some money on this mortgage real quick. Yeah, that's what you told me you were gonna do. You're gonna yeah. you just bought a house. Oh yeah, yeah, just bought a house uh, earlier this summer, man. It's straight mortgage money right here. And now everybody's hitting you up. All your boys are hitting you up hey, to see I'm if they can get a piece. everybody on Facebook, man. And hey, don't say why to block everybody on Facebook. Why, why were you gave, guys able to win this one? Oh uh, man, honestly, man, you know, I'm just I'm just lucky to an already glued team. I didn't really do much, and I just I was just feeling the piece. I think DJ DJ had a game. He's an elite player overseas. Uh, I think that Zandre had a great game. I think uh, also also the guards did a great job of pressuring the whole game and playing great defense. I just, just filling a couple holes, man. I didn't really do anything this weekend. You gonna buy anything for EJ here? No, nah, no, nah, he can't. The house the house is for everybody. No, nah, he can't have anything. He's already spoiled. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, Appreciate thanks. it. Thanks. Right.